Percentile ranking refers to the percentage of the population that falls below the given score. There are three examples of percentile ranking on this overhead. On the left, we see someone whose percentile ranking is the seventh percentile ranking. This person did better than 7% of the population. In the middle, we see someone whose percentile ranking is 50th percentile. They scored above 50% of the population. And on the right is someone whose percentile ranking is the 99th percentile. They scored above 99% of the population. To solve a percentile problem, the first step we want to do is draw the picture. It helps us to get a fairly good idea of what the person's percentile ranking should be approximately. Our particular question says, in a normal distribution where the mean is 70 and the standard deviation is 12, what is the percentile ranking for the person who scored an 81? When we draw the picture, we're going to want to go ahead and indicate on the picture the mean, which is going to be right there in the middle of the distribution. We have a line representing that. We're also going to want to put after the mean the value. Our value is an 81. And we want to shade in the area of interest, that is the percentage of people who scored below an 81. We can tell that the percentile ranking is going to be fairly good, uh, certainly above 50th percentile ranking, though not quite as good as 99th percentile ranking. To determine the percentile ranking, we need to find out the percentage of everyone who scored below an 81. We know that the percentage of people who scored below the mean is 50%. That is, half the population is below the mean. So that part is already figured out just by looking at it. 50th or 50%, or we could say as a proportion, 0. 0.500 of the population is below the mean. To solve this problem, we need to find out what proportion of people are between a 70 and an 81. Once we do that, we're done. To be able to solve that problem, we need to find out how many standard deviations is the value 81 away from the mean. We're going to then use that information to look up the proportion between the mean and z on the z table. The formula for the z-score is value minus the mean, yeah, entire sum divided by the standard deviation. So let's fill in these boxes. And the top left box does which? The value. And the value, 81. And the top right box, the mean. The mean is 70. And in the bottom box, the standard deviation. And the standard deviation is 12. Now we simply solve. 81 minus 70 is 11, divided by 12. That comes out to be 0 0.92. The distance between the mean and z is 0.92. Our mean, 70. Our value, 81. And the distance is not quite an entire standard deviation. We'll take this information if the z-score is 0.92 to the z-table. And the z-table will look up this area between the mean and z. The z-tables are located at the back of the workbook. There's two different z-tables. One of the z-tables is for the area between the mean and z. And when you look at the diagram, it'll show you a picture of a normal distribution and shaded in is the area between the mean and z. We're interested in looking up the z-score of 0.92. So let's focus in on the z-scores. The leftmost column of the z-table shows you the z-scores. We want to find 0.92. It only shows us 0.9, that is, we go to the tenths place. If we want to find the hundredths place, that's along this top row, which is 0.02. And 
over here is 0.9. So 0.9 and 0.02, we bring those together, it'll tell us the area between the mean and z for a z-score of 0.92. That area is 0.321. So it's telling us that for a normal distribution, the area between the mean and z is 0.321. Our last step is to solve the problem. So we already know from before that half the population is below the mean. We've also learned by looking at the z-table that 0.321 of the population is between the mean and the z-score. Our mean was 70 and our value is 81. For a complete mistake, we're also interested in just what is this area equal to? We know that all three areas have to add up to one. That's the entire population. So it's going to come out to be 9, 3, 1, 0 0.189. And we add up all those, we should get 1. So that's our entire population. Notice also that if you add up 0.321 and 0.189, that will equal 0.5. OK, so with all the information here, we want to find out the percentile ranking for someone who has an 81. For that, we're just interested in everyone below the 81. That's going to be this 0 0.50 and this 0 0.321. So our next step is to simply add up those two proportions. 0 0.500 plus 0 0.321 comes out to be 0.821. Now it's a proportion. Percentile ranking involves percent, so we need to change this proportion, which ranges from 0 to 1, into a percentage. So you can multiply it by 100, and that will be 82.1. That's this person's percentile ranking, 82.1 percentile.